Welcome back, spacefarers, and my name is Tokriva. This is some more Stellaris. Playing the United Nations of Earth, and we're about to engage in combat on Zub in the Zubin system against some crystalline system entities complete. that are very aggressive. Okay, Eurus. Not all, also not a very great system. Hello. <gasps> it's a Gaia world. Habitability, 100%. Um, that's actually extremely interesting. You're gonna come... We never finished Procyon. Oh wow, we never finished that system. Interesting, so that might become an even better system than it already is. Anyway, here's the two smaller ones passing by. Swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadows drift across Ryak One's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Mubali Masuku is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate... Plus six? Whoa. Um, which one was that? Heze, right? No. Ryak. Um, so that's one hell of a planet. Six society research. And it's far out of reach. Right. I don't, cannot afford another frontier outpost. I simply cannot. Okay, these two are now passing by. Time to move in. Okay, so here they come. We need to wait, of course, until they're far enough System away. System survey complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Let's go to normal speed. Of course, we have shields. Situation log updated. Excellent. That's one down. Now, mm, can I split you off a fleet? Create new fleet. Uh, actually, that was just a split. I need to combine you two again. Merge the fleets. I oh, know. I need to select both. Okay, where's the merge button? Move, merge. Okay. Um, create a new fleet. That guy's gonna get out for now. You're just backing off a little bit. That's all. Um, research this. They'll come in soon enough. Uh, Eurus, Lingle, Ryak. Combat is done. Shields regenerate pretty damn fast, actually. Minimal hull damage for now. I will use these guys, of Hostile course, fleet but engaged. I don't want them to be the first to be engaging. Hostile fleet engaged. And we didn't lose a single ship. Perfect. You two merge. No, no, no. Oh, now it's the second fleet again. Ah! First fleet. And now, go repair. 
Okay, so you guys are coming here. No, these guys are coming here. After that, research. Research. Survey system. Mm, his is done. Oh yeah, we want this. We want this system really badly. A molten world. Oh. Neutron star. These incredibly dense stellar remnants are sometimes created when a massive star suffers a rapid collapse and explodes in the supernova. Although their, their diameter is typically as little as 10 kilometers, their mass is many times greater than an average G-type star. Neutron stars are incredibly dense. That's right. Question is, can you still not no route for the selected system to reach? Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade these with the better warp once we have it. Um, 318, we can nearly upgrade our uh, system. Our, our uh, spaceport. But we finally managed to clear out Zuben. Oh, that's good. It's really good. There's our science ship coming in somewhere. Oh yeah, you're doing Procyon because I completely forgot about it. So we now know about a few... Oh, hello! We know about another civilization now. Hey, beetle juice. Beetle goose. Beetle juice. Yes, we're work going to work on these. Satellite is completed. So we have one artifact recovered. We're six out of seven on these. Ah. Contacts. So that would be the Chromathani administration. Xenophilia, bright materialists, enlightened pacifists. Free individualists, democratic crusaders. Believe that it is their moral imperative to spread their democratic way of life. They tend to get along well with other democracies, but are far more than willing to use military force to liberate the populations of less democratic empires. Rivals with the Valmanics. Ramathani Tuxcan Where are the Tux? Oh, that's these guys, okay So the League of Desir Could actually become Good friends as well Your people have a say But do they have liberty? Fanatic individualists Oh god, they look horrible I'm going to establish an as as embassy we are allowed to have four of them, so why not? So, contacts. Also with Kormathani. Reptilian, Molluscoid, Mammalian. These are the primitives that we have uh, discovered. I'm also going to establish an embassy with these guys. President Zax welcomes this initiative. Xenophile pacifist materialist, erudite explorers. Value exploration and discovery process above all other things. They will gladly trade for the knowledge they seek, but are not above taking it by force if it proves necessary. Yeah, we have these embassies, trade deals. Allied. I could make the Volmanax my rivals. Evangelizing Zealots. They will never like us. I will declare a rivalry. Individualist rabble, xenophobia. This will also make the League of the Seer like us more because we have mutual rivals. And I'm also going to rival the Tuxkins. Not as much, but it's still some... 
It makes our uh, influence better. Hegemonic imperialists. See, this will make these people like us more. And that means we get more people for our future federation. We have enough to upgrade our spaceport to level 3. We are researching level 5 as well. What? <laughs> oh man, it's just... it feels good. It feels really good. You are surveying here, I assume. Plus one orders. Yes. There's nothing in the north of us, which is interesting and surprising. Construction complete. We've finished... New Jamestown. These are planet-specific edicts. Practices that can be temporarily enforced by spending some of our influence. Okay, that's actually good. Um, then again, surface. Now we have our planetary administration done. I'd like to get a spaceport. Uh, but first, let's upgrade this to a mining network. More minerals. Now making 55 a tick. Wow. I just don't pay attention for a while. We finish more mining things. It's pretty good. 56 now. Oh, we are repairing our ships, of course. 90% going up, though. And we're in Zuben. Oh, that's so good. I need a construction ship to move to Antares. I want to finish that research station. Or at least build it. Oh yeah, we can go to fast speed again. System survey complete. That's Procyon done. See, it got some more things now. Are the space amoeba still there, I wonder? Um, yeah, they're only evasive, which is perfectly fine here. Or designed to sip to the scientific effort of a planet, increasing research output. Oh. Oh, it requires data bank uplinks. Okay, so we need res we need to get a research first before we can do that. Evading hostile fleet. Yeah, that's a big piece of amoeba fleet. Prefer not to do that, even though it has a drop gun in our thick world, yeah. Anomaly found. Um, a signs of an ancient precursor. Yes, please go there. First fleet has been repaired. Sea Lion has found an anomaly. He's now working on it. Uh, you are moving here. Just build the. Oh, we need two. I could build a frontier outpost, but I don't have the influence to do that. Twenty, twenty-nine, thirty. Build me those research stations then. Since our fleet is ready, let's go take out our first batch of um, mining drones. They're working on the debris, which is good. Yeah, we are working on these, don't worry. Construction complete. Sirius has built its mining thing. Viltom Asteroid Mining Base. P-13PO is covered in impact craters from asteroid collisions, but one stands out. It appears to have been created through the detonation of some kind of antimatter device. There is evidence elsewhere on the asteroid's surface indicating that it was heavily mined by the Voltaum at some point roughly 12 million years ago. A large crater refund was presumably the location of their mining outpost. Issue Situation special project. Log updated. 
So that's the full tome. Um, go to, which means you're doing these now, right? Yeah. Half. No, 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 no. Survey system. Uh huh. Okay, survey. Si Fine. Then they'll just still do it after they're done. All right, you're not doing anything right now. You go to Agendis. And again, how long? Analyzed. Oh, still 29 months away. Green crystal capacitors plus 20% progress. Generative health tissue plus 10% progress. Physics research and society research. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Earth is nearly done upgrading its spaceport. Construction complete. Which means... Ooh. Which means we can build destroyers. That's pretty freaking cool. I want to build a destroyer. I also should keep upgrading buildings though. Why can't I only build an engineering facility here? Didn't I still not research the other ones? It's possible. Um, let's move you over there. No, not you. This one goes over here. And then building a science lab over here. Yeah, yeah, we know. I know we have that special project, but we're working on the other ones first. Let's look here. Okay, you are building a mine. Will suppress the collection of the food. Of course, it does. But there are no things that give us dub different resources, which is annoying. You know what? Um, you're gonna build me a farm here. Yes. You're gonna build a power plant here. You're gonna build a mine here. It means we'll lose a few minerals along the way, but it should be fine in the long run. An election! Oh, the other ones have great votes as well. Orbital researchers, though. Um, I think I'm going to support Ignacio. It is time, after 25 years, 5 terms, it's a long time for a new leader. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, these guys are here also. Special project complete. A closer examination of the destroyed Voltom mining base on P13PO has uncovered some of their abandoned mining equipment in a surviving tunnel. It is uniquely designed for use with their worm-like ana anatomy and appears to have been operated primarily through the body vibrations they used to communicate. 121 engineering research uncovered. Debris analyzed. Um, good. Even more debris. Good stuff. There we go. Um, Earth. Spaceport. Build. Destroyer. We're building a destroyer. And you can upgrade a farm. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.